Yo, what is up ninjas? OJ over here from Player Essence and welcome to a Persona 5 first impressions video that I have here for you guys. So I usually do these in gameplay fashion only with me playing the game and also talking at the same time. But with the type of game that Persona is, I thought it would be better for me to record the footage for you guys kind of get all of my talking points for the actual dungeon so the meat and potatoes of what you'll actually be doing in Persona and where you're going to be spending a lot of your time when it comes to the combat when it comes to the core mechanics of the game now there is a whole nother social aspect to the game that you're not going to be seeing here in addition to this video where I'll be talking about these things I'll also be uploading my full 24 minutes or so maybe a little bit less gameplay clip of just so you can kind of get a grasp of everything in the dungeons as far as what Persona is about the combat what you do negotiate Negotiating with shadows or personas fusing there's a lot of concepts to this and I want to be able to explain it to you guys in the best way possible through me talking about it and showing it in addition to just straight gameplay now remember there will be no spoilers whatsoever there's no major spoilers in this when it comes to the story or when it comes to characters or anything like that so yeah you don't have to worry about that in either this video or my gameplay clip Atlas is pretty strict when it comes to streaming and showing off certain content, so I'm going to make sure that I abide by those rules and make sure that there's nothing crazy when it comes to spoilers in the story because I know it's a single playthrough game. Now with all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into Persona 5 and what makes this game amazing. Now this is an official review, but I have to say if I was going to give it a score at this point, it would be very, very high. It would be above a 9 at this point. And I'm really about 10 to 15 hours into the game. Some of the gameplay that you're seeing is from a previously recorded spot. And this game, what makes it so awesome, just going into the dungeons first and foremost, what makes it so awesome is just the style. Persona 5 has a style unlike any other game out there. There are games that try to be like the anime style, that try to be like the high school setting, and that's fine, but it lacks the substance. When you look at Persona, even like the cutscenes, the menus, the game, the combat, and especially the combat, it seems like it oozes with people who are paying attention to actually like the slickness and like what the fans want when it comes to presentation and style. It just it looks cool. It just looks really cool. There's nothing else that I can really explain it. Very sleek, very attractive when it comes to the combat, the smoothness of it. You don't ever feel like when you press a button, like there's a little bit of delay in your using personas or actually attacking the enemy. It is a turn-based RPG, so obviously they're probably not going to mess that up. But really, once you get into the flow of things and you start knocking enemies down with their weaknesses, hitting them with like the classic Shin Megami Tensei slash Persona combat to where fire if it's weak against that you knock them down you get an extra turn called one more in this one it flows just like all the other Shin Megami Tensei and Persona games it just clicks when you play and this one is no exception but this one might be the smoothest and slickest out of all of the Shin Megami Tensei and Persona games that have that same one more system or exploiting the weakness in order to get another turn that's the coolest thing about this game and adding in stuff like guns which they've had before but the way that they've done it with ammo and bullets and everything is just put together in such a nice and neat package persona 5 really makes you feel like you're a freaking phantom thief superhero type of guy and just another thing with the presentation when it comes to the gameplay because it kind of all ties in and that's what makes persona i think different than games that just stress graphics a lot of times yes graphics are good they tie into a game but the style doesn't a game can just have great graphics but what does it do for the actual gameplay whereas with persona the style the sleekness what they're aiming to do with that all of it ties in together of the phantom thieves something that's cool even the personas there's just so many different things that really like I said tie back together in order to make the gameplay better even pertaining to the stealth the whole thieves that you are and what you do in that game there are so many different elements that they've actually taken even from Legend of Zelda even a little bit getting a map solving a little puzzle even having a little sound that plays up when you Whoa. solve that nothing crazy as far as taking Legend of Zelda and obviously very different games but I do like the added little touches here and there when you are in these dungeons. And I'm not going to be talking about story here, but I will briefly mention that the story so far is very good. It tugs at your heartstrings. It tugs at all the different senses as far as what you can feel. Now, it's not necessarily great voice acting or anything like that, but it's passable and it works and it keeps you interested. It keeps you very interested into the story and engaged and makes you want to push through and play through these dungeons and just... 
it just all fits really well. When it comes to the actual combat, I think this is probably the best thing about Persona is exploiting the one more system, being able to quickly jump from one thing to another, earning new skills, whether it be with your confidence on the outside world or within the metaverse, which is the dungeons. So doing either one and how that plays into together and how that actually pushes you to do things outside of that so you can get stronger in the metaverse fighting against the shadows or other personas is fantastic. Now the actual negotiation system that we've seen in previous Shin Megami Tensei and Persona games are back in in order for you to get them and I think that you will fail so many times but then once you kind of understand what each Persona's personality is, you can easily like pick an option to where you can get them to join your team. At first it's confusing it's like what the heck like why aren't they joining me but then once you kind of understand you know what they say and their personalities with that then you'll be able to get them more now and if you're already into the Shin Megami Tensei franchise like Shin Megami Tensei 4 and know the negotiations from there and kind of how things are you'll be able to pick up on this a lot faster than I did even though I played Shin Megami Tensei 4 but I don't remember a lot of stuff and I'm not like a seasoned persona Shin Megami Tensei player so I did struggle a little bit but then you get the hang of it from there, you can actually fuse your personas as well, just like you've done in previous games, and make stronger personas, and that's pretty much the gist of what makes a persona slash Shin Megami Tensei game, and I can say that probably this is the coolest theme when it comes to actually fusing personas. This is probably the best one. And what I mean by that is that each game, Shin Megami Tensei Persona, has a different way that you can fuse the personas or the monsters in order for you to use them to your advantage. I know in Shin Megami Tensei 4, you actually had like two of them and they kind of like put like into like a machine with the guy as far as like their velvet room and you used that to fuse them together. Whereas in this game, you actually execute them like by beheading them and they become a new persona from their chopped off head basically and it fuses, it becomes a new one. And that's probably the best theme that I've seen for a Persona game when it comes to actually fusing your Personas. So everything so far, like I said, the combat is absolutely 100% solid. What you can do with the guns, what you can do with the actual magic, your Personas, in addition to your attacks, it's all sleek, fits in together of the theme of the Phantom Thieves and being a thief, adding in stealth, map system, so many great things that you can do in this game and that's just peeling back some of the layers. There's a lot more but I definitely don't want to get into spoiler territory so if you have not decided whether you're going to pick up Persona 5 at this point I say drop what you're doing <laughs> and go pick up Persona 5. Go pick it up. It is a fantastic game. There's really no excuse to not play this game at this point in my opinion especially if you're a Japanese RPG fan. The game is on PS3 and it's on PS4. That is a combined install base of like 100 and 40 million or something like that something crazy i know there's like nearly 90 million ps3s out there obviously there's repeat buyers and broken down ones and all that but you get what i'm trying to say here there's a lot of ps3s and ps4s out there so i know a lot of you guys either have a ps3 or a ps4 go pick it up the game is clearly graphically and i didn't talk about graphics much i just talked about the style obviously the presentation is awesome the style is awesome the graphics are not super complex it's not using anywhere near i think what the ps4 is capable of it's a 20 gigabyte mandatory install on your hard drive that is very small for a ps4 game considering other games out there are up to 100 gigabytes or near there so it's only 20 very manageable um, there's really no excuse like i said not to pick it up PS3 or PS4, you're not going to be missing out too much if you decide to go with the PS3 version of the game. It still runs great. Obviously, though, Persona 5 on the PS4 is a superior version, but the PS3 version is fine if you want to just go with that one. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button if you did like it. Let's me know you guys want more conflict that's going forward in the future. And subscribe to Player Essence for the latest news, reviews, discussions, and more. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you, Phantom Thieves, for the next one. Peace. I'll reveal your Who true you? form. Alright, Persona! First move is ours! Go down! Woo! Looking cool, Joker! Ravage that! Looking cool, <laughs> Joker! Finish him! <laughs>